Sip, sip, feels like a load of twice. twice. Instead of rap, all we do is bleed and we fight for us. For our recognition, money and respect, and the government fuck us over too. It's, it's a fact, it's a fact, man. We the down trodden, we the last to be considered, we the third passenger. When the right is too, see the we the weak, we the cheated, we the winner, we the losers. When the rent is due. We the ones, we the excuses, farewell to the, the best of us in top of listers. In the afterlife, man, we pop like a blister when we rap. You will always pour water, a little liquor. Twist, please, watch and burn slow to the, the listener. Who's just finding in us? 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 Yeah. No sugar in the mix. Can my hella mataka whoeba mu kwile ba sheletso hola waka ka ke stress and kato o feletso di di plane ka mo ba tla ba tima di mike ah kwetse di lotsa life ke go tshaele maloba o ntletse ka metaele a ro bora ka tshuste na wa go reka di bits eh ne ka motsa ya easy go re ke mahetse gore o di bala jwa o di bala jwa o di bala jwa e ma change mamba green hair ka le ke re pa i ain't going nowhere I'm so good. Come on, talk about pregnant. Catalabum rap, but they're all my dependents. I follow them. Now I'm back to come murder them. No more make new rappers. Prophet Sullivan. It's been like a deadline. When I mess with me, you're going to end up in a deadline. Yeah. Voila. Who root them my tally and Rolla. Go to me, say, let's pass it. People are here to come and see me, man. Respect me. I'm the part of your product on my street, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to jump to the podcast, but you have to apologize. No, I'm just saying. And who's not the one? The one rolling. Rolling! Rolling! I was born privileged, not because I'm rich, but I was raised not to ever call a woman a bitch. bitch. Tap a talk and leave a nigga with a stitch in a ditch or some soul and lips. Eh, speaking of which, I got the ride to my fika if you're looking to hitch. Ding wow, let me allow if you're looking to switch. Where I'm from, they don't ask, they demand respect. So when you see me in the street, give the man respect. Or like a try to take and make you bounce like check. You fika want my fika with guitar like that. Don't be alarmed, I don't mean to harm. I know you feel the pressure. 
smash up a piece to stay calm and oh. listening. You don't wanna be missing in this kid here. It's harder than the missing. Oh. So check your post, but don't abuse your post. You might be guest of honor, but I'm still the host. Oh. 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 I'm mature with my time. It should be obvious and evident. Spend these rhymes. I kick like lead and I go for your head. I'll be your doctor for the day, so you know you well fed. You didn't raise, raise, raise me in the morning before go panda. Raise me in the street before keep on. <laughs> I'm just trying to come up with a whole thing. Ah, what a rule! In the morning, he's already working. He's already working. Put on the studio, Kara. Hey, so he's already working. I'm just coming up with a whole thing. I'm just coming up with a whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, y
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give one. 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 Uh, yeah, no, the man next to him doesn't need no introduction. Oh. Uh, Tonito. Malume. Ma, yeah, no. Uh, Uncle Tonito. Tonito. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can I can tell you the first time I saw Stone up close, I never told him this story. Yeah. Uh, this was a Coca Cola. Something track, yeah. uh, what's that thing next to agriculture? Uh, that hall, convention, convention, convention center, yeah. Yeah. Uh, convention center. Uh, okay, and uh, they were so accessible. Like, it, I can do this only story. Oh, you <laughs> 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 you know, I was like, <laughs> no, but you like, 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 recognize real. You should see the story, you know, but you don't understand. Did you stab you? There was a, an event that happened Goma, became, it was cancelled for some other reason. Mm -hmm. Then there was supposed to be a makeup show inside the stadium. Yeah. Just 96 or I was years. there. My first concert got cancelled. Yeah. 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 It was like they don't know. was <laughs> playing on a loop. Yeah. On concert thing. Is it? My first concert ever. I, I was I, I went to the, the point is I, I went to the, uh, to the makeup event. Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and uh, you know, there was that time. I think it was 96 or 97 like that. Yeah, and um, it was a new stone from knowing him, but you know that what's crazy about it? Like, I'm interviewed, yeah. but what's crazy about that time is that now I was getting wires, getting 90s, yeah. I was getting wires back uh, from Kikili yeah. Mojus. There is a thing brewing, brewing Yamalaiti. I remember, kind of thing, I'm sure Toddy must have been like 10 years old yeah. when he started, you yeah. know? Yeah. And he was already like, people were talking about him. Mm. And I get like, get like, like, Toddy. Can't the Babua come out? Come on, I'm a little bit of a toad. Can I take a long zezil in a maritagua? Little Toddy Kilina, and then next to him, wow, a uh, prof. Mozako God. Yeah, I yeah. So, I'm not going to be a good God. So, 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 personally, how I first, my, the first person I saw perform live was Prof. I learned this in which I It was pop the, Top of the Bob Pops. Yeah. We were performing at the Convention Center, Kodi yeah. Final Ling, yeah. and either they were the, the, the headline. Yeah, yeah, Top of the Bob Pops. Mm. Remember, Top of the Bob Pops on all my Yes. They didn't. Do, I'm doing all this. They didn't. Yeah. My G. They didn't. We, did, we do all these things and then they come on. They don't. Yeah. With they Mike still yeah. on. <laughs> the only person I've never seen oh, wow. is the other two. So, what dancer? I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to Every Neda that I would have, can't go to Baba. Not to come on a good big group. There's a difference. That's a difference. We couldn't miss that appointment. Please tell us about the relation with Big P. Well, the most important thing is Big is Big Brother because of course. I I I was born and raised most of the money straight. And he's a man. I think I I trust him. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's what I was trying to say. Familia. Don't fuck with it, man. <laughs> that's why. I, that's what I was trying to and say. And I think that's <laughs> the dynamic between Bonne and Yeah. Because mm. they've never moved away far from each other. Each other, yeah. Yes. And both, both, but now my bit love no come at alone. Yes. Yeah, that, that's one thing that, that that messes with me. What like, how do you speak about the bit like how things will heal? They already know where they're gonna be buried. Yeah. Now the time on Yeah. And I know what like uh, Kuli's grandfather yeah. once told me what. I can't show you the the pull can go come at alone. Do you get my point? Yeah. Like it's so real, and we we never get to really understand it. Until later on, because now the hoodie like her, and now he's back home. You know, funny enough, stone, you, ne, table. Now, in the table, then I do like what the fifth house killer more cone. So it was me, and one, two, three, four, five. So I was killer. Neki fit like a stone. Kimo ta keta table retama. Let's go in one. Yeah, that's how we went to primary school every day without fail. Ila ready for doors. I can't mention. I can't mention. I can't mention. I that's a debate I always tell. You know, there's this misconception that rural is poor. But actually, the biggest money in this country is in the farm countryside. All, all the money, and you can see it even in math the because most, people with money are moving out of location, moving committing. Yeah. The most fertile down, land, the most fertile land, the Kodi Blessing. Yeah, the so most fertile land, the Kodi Blessing. So it's that's not that's in your suburbia dynamic. area, no. So. Yeah, and we're here, here, here we are. We're already like pretty deep in it, and before we even uh get to the reason why we're here, look, um, this is not really a reunion, but it's um, it's a search mm. for for clarity because. Here we are facing more than 20 years of a line of questions that uh, hopefully this forum here today will, 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 will address. So, Brass, as we speak, we are talking about the 90s. The 90s was a bang, was a bang for hip hop globally. You know, mm, this is when really we got to know what hip hop is all about uh, when it was uh, picking up from what it was in the States. This was a time for Kwaito, when Kwaito was banging on the whole continent, you know, a new sound. Um, changing the whole landscape. This was a time for democracy in South Africa when we had to find new boundaries because we, we didn't know our limitations. We didn't know how far we should go. Uh, how, you know. And I remember when Kwaito started, um, you know, it, it, it felt so unrehearsed. I felt so cheated, you know. Mm. Some of the stuff that, were coming, <laughs> <laughs> that was coming out. And when you play that stuff today, it, it's so classic, you know, because hip hop has gone full circle and it has become exactly that. Mm. Simplified and, you know, appealing to the mass crowd. Because that's what Vusili used to say to us. Hey, my fan. Too many words, yeah. too many words. Yeah. Same. <laughs> Short words, repetition, bam, bam, bam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, um, lately, T Stone Prof, please, in your own words, capture that beginning. Now I was told for it. My man, this rap shit of yours will not work in this country. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. And and that was a speed, everybody, right? everybody has heard that. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, definitely, man. Format, <laughs> format was 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 key. Um, mm. in terms of look on now, since we now we we came to into this three minute format. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The song length. Yes. You know, but has give kisu kilo zakhali. If you listen to some of the standards, the the, the, the Motown era, and you know. The, the, the 50s, the 60s, the songs were short as well because it used to be expensive to record. record. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so the shorter the song is, yeah. the quicker uh, the package can be yeah. put together. Rona, my man, I think we, uh, at that time, um, Kwaito was almost like the proxy of hip hop. Mm. You know, we, we were yeah. traveling a lot internationally around that time. And what we would hear repeatedly that was that Kwaito is the voice 
the new, like a hip hop esque voice for the youth of South Africa. Yes. But what we knew, Rona is bomb rapper within the country. You got it. That expression, yeah, hip hop or the 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 uh, real estate that yes. you need to be given that 16 at least yes. minimum mm. that you need to be given. Oskido is telling you, my man, it's too brother, long, man. hit the hook, my man, no, for eight pass. <laughs> I like this line. I like this line. Repeat yeah. it, my man. Kya blen la? Lo shaba ni kipunga punga tsa kapa pasta only growing up to be fine. You're not doing the pre thing, eh, D. But yes, my man, I like that one. Yeah. I like that one. Know, repeat this one, my man. I don't know, my man. This thing is it's the, done. This is it. It's finished. Trust me. It's done. <laughs> so, so, so. Uh, uh, Eskils, when did it all start for you? Oh man, I think, yeah, that um, it started very early for me. Uh, I think I knew by age 10 that I wanted to, to do music. I, I was how, born I, into it. Who am I? I've, 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 uh, you were born into it, Pops, Pops was a songwriter, mm. like, as in composer. Yeah, composer. Yeah, yeah. Like, mm. you know, Moms right. was a choir director. Mm. Uh, at the age of uh, at the age of twelve, I used to have my own like top ten. I, I used to love, I've always loved radio. I used to have like go to Congo, then go in to Nokrales to Puso. Every time I get us gala, I'd have like my own top ten. Keep a bit to the neighborhood kids in that crowd. Kuli Chana was there mm. uh, before. Well, Kulani, I get Kulani because there was no Kuli Chana at that time. And I'd play music for them and dance. I, I was I was Bobby Brown when I was twelve. You know, bad guys, bad guys. Yes. Bad yeah. guys. True. <laughs> facts only. I was, I was facts only. I was Bobby Brown. Facts. Yeah. And you know, when facts. did you pick so, up the mic? Facts only. I, I I picked up the mic by mistake actually. Uh, I'm gonna tell you about Bruce Civito Dope. and Bruce Masibi. Mm. That's the original crowd of people. R.I.P. Man. Uh, I was friends with Bruce Masibi. Mm. Ne? Who would go to rehearsals with Mozart McKenna uh, with Bruce Sibito? Bruce Sibito was Jermaine Dupri, Bruce Masibi, Mozart McKenna were the Chris's. Mm. If you know, basically. So, Nanakilim Pinch, I was just a tag along guy. I was a tag along guy. Uh, Bruce used to write for the, for the guys, and there was a verse in a, a particular part in a verse in a pala bruce okay massive this is yes. and me in the corner could do it easy yeah you know and bruce vito was like hold on so you can do it come here let's let's okay let's do this uh, <laughs> 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 Then the question becomes so so you can rap too and i'm like yeah yeah uh, yeah why not mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah i can rap too why not and if I've, you know you you fake it until you make it type of thing I did it then because i didn't want to be left out and then bruce liked what i came up with and the things a uh, couple of things that are and then he was like okay so i think i like this the three of you like this i think i like this uh, so what are you going to call yourselves <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to impose. I mean, like shake it around. Uh, three is a crowd, you know. Mm. Uh, all right, that's the one. Crowd For the crew. That's how we get it. Oh, that's wow. how we get it. Oh, I don't know the story. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's how it came about. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Right. So you were crowding my Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, no very Same same question. So so for me, um, my dad was a jazz not player but listener mm -hmm. enthusiast yeah so dad like flooded our home with jazz and classic music but this one one month 1989 i remember he bought a tape yeah quincy jones back on the block yeah mm. and then the title track yeah, back on the block it had iced tea Homo D. Yeah. Like it was it was hip hop. In, what in, triggered my brain to think there is this level of self-expression? I didn't understand it, but I got it. You know what I'm saying? All of it. And I was just like, wow, this is dope. Okay, I need to figure out. I'm eight, by the way. 
And then we moved from a small town called Pique, where I discovered Siliva Pique, to Gabs. And then Gabs has like bookstores. Yeah. And there's Botswana Bookstore and Main Mall. And Main Mall had <laughs> rap pages, was still printed in sugar paper. Like, yeah. it wasn't like, you weren't flipping it like this. You were flipping it like four times and then maybe oh, six yeah. more times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like, you know, it folded. falls out into yeah. a poster. In, and it's a poster, but mm. behind the po there's different articles. Yeah. And because I was so young, I didn't have the budget. So what I would do is I would go and read it in the store. Mm. And then they would be like, mm. Mm. you come back again. Or fill it the article. <laughs> so that's dope <laughs> because this thing had captured me so hard right i needed to find out more so there are things happening on tv this bet we got on boss tv and then i remember this was 1991 seeing a mc called MC Solar. Right. French. Yeah. French. Yeah. And then yeah. I always thought hip hop was in English. Mm. And then Solar reminded me that no, it doesn't matter where you're from. I'm from where, well, he's Sen Senegalese yeah. Yeah, originally, mm. you know what I'm saying? But this man was rapping in French and I was like, I didn't know it could be done like that. So that made me want to go back to the drawing board and say okay so over the time over over these beats i'm hearing over the quincy jones and the jazz yeah. joints my dad was playing right but sola made me recognize that Sitswana can be an option for can be fashionable yeah. hip-hop is not english yeah and then i embarked on this journey so now, obviously, you have to shape your craft up. The years go. 93, a man by the name of Mike Proctor was coming from the UK. And he was a fr good friend of my uncle. When he tells me about a dude. So it, it would seem I had reached a point where I would rap to anyone who'd listen. Oh, yeah. And clearly, I'd rapped enough to my uncle for him to say, I think you got something, kid. I have a friend of mine who you may want to see. He actually just came back from Europe. And I think he's made waves in Europe. He actually did a, a remix for I Like to Move It. Oh, yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? So he was an ill DJ, you know. Um, he's setting up a, a talent show in Francistown. I want to put you on. And the production company was called Base to Base. So these guys was hella organized, mm. you know? Mm. So I was just like, okay, cool. I'm going to do it, right? This was in Francis Town. We we're based in Gabs. Mm. Shit. That's a long time. But long. no, it's not. It's not. Because that's why when you ask me where I'm from, I need to point out different places. Where, where, we, where I was born and where I found my family home, to where my grandmother was, which was Francistown, and where my my mother and dad, uh, my, my mother and dad met romantically, mm. and where they finally retired to, and my origins, culture, Kalanga, which is Gweta, northeast, further. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. We'll get to that though. Yes. <laughs> um. So, so. Mike Proctor happens, and every time I go to Francistown, this is during December holidays. So I would go to my grandmother's place, and this is where things were accessible. By the way, a large part of my history is compressed or in the shadows because I had the most strictest folks. That's another thing. Jehovah's Witnesses. And 
it was like rap was uh, yo like <laughs> what, what, you, what are you busy with? Wow, wow, pepper my guy. Who did that? Boy, I got a scripture for that. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 to keep you home. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it was crazy. Uh, <laughs> it was crazy. So anyway, um, we do the base to base thing, and I could see this Mike Proctor dude is is really about empowering young talents. You know what I mean? Um, and he's coming with that European first world thinking. Oh, yeah. Thinking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he's got the vinyls. So we're seeing Ice Cube, we're seeing Snoop for the first time on vinyl, all these these amazing projects, right? Laws of the Underground. So the idea was to pick what you wanted and then perform it yeah. ultimately. But it wasn't just about ultimately performing. This dude literally took us through club scenes and saw how we could perform live on stage in different settings, you know? And I like salute to Mike because he's the one who actually gave me like the blueprint, you know, stage blueprint. So fast forward to that, I'm still developing this crap. I hear a song and I was just confirming with him. <laughs> what would you do if you meet somebody but that somebody is somebody? That somebody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think this was my first access to just like cross border bros, you know? Like what? Map town niggas is fresh. Mm -hmm. But that was second album. Oh yeah? Yeah. 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 But yep. that was fresh though. What year was that? No, what, what, what year, year was it? Drop? It was a mind truck. 98? 98. Yeah. 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 Was, it, was yes. that 98? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My first production, by the way. The way. My, yeah. My, my yeah. first. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, no. I was on production on that song with uh, with Sticky Man One. Mm. Oh. Okay. So the first album dropped when? First album yeah, dropped 96 on the 13th of February 1996. 13th February. Guys, 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 guys. Yeah. The first album dropped on the 13th of February, 1996. It was a Friday. Mm. The first album. Yes, mm. local okay. Park Mentions. Mm. Okay. With this guy. Sure. Okay. So 1996, Mike Proctor had his second installment out in Francistown of just shows and putting on talent, right? We do the whole round, but I'm just like, okay, cool. I have reached a point where I need access beyond talent shows, right? And there was the biggest show, you had DJ Sid and uh, uh, DJ Fresh mm. on RB2. Yeah. And I was just like, I need to have something channel through this. I didn't know how, what, I was just wet behind the ears. And I remember this one time I had reached a point of desperation and I was just like, I'm going to call the show and I'm just going to rap for these niggas. And I did that. And then Sid was just like, yo, man, send in, send in a demo or something, you know? But I know demos land nowhere. So I started, I found out what DJ Sid's number was. And I was just going at boy, Jorge, dude, I need you to put, I need to put you onto a jingle, actually, right? And ultimately, he said yes. This is around 96. And... I wrote two jingles for DJ Said, one in Swana and one in English. And we recorded those. And that was my entry point because that now introduced me to uh, producers now wanting to work with the kid. Mm. Yeah, based on the jingle. Mm. That's dope. Yeah. 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 Stone? <coughs> Ra. Mm. Uh, I think you told yeah. the story. Yo, uh, uh, before we well, I sure. want to ask you something, guys. Sure. You know, back in those times, you know, maybe we take it for granted, you know. People don't understand the journey that it had to take to access a studio. Or it was, tough. It was the toughest thing ever, though. Or the number, <laughs> or the number that DJ said. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah, the yeah, toughest you know, thing you ever. You know, you know, Hello? <laughs> you know what? I do? And, and, and also, just 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 studio yes and just the idea of recording to a real mic 
back then yeah. was such a surreal thing, man. Yes. You know what I mean? Because mm. it was deck tapes. We didn't have yeah, phones that were, fa- no were fancy. Were you my, yes. on? my case was different. We, we were very fortunate. Yeah. I'll okay. tell you this. Uh, the only the first time we stepped into a studio was when we recorded the album. The, the actual yeah, album. You know, yeah. the actual album. Yeah. We worked with Bruce. Bruce worked with his laptop, uh, not laptop, uh, uh, keyboard, uh, keyboard, no. yeah. Yeah. right here, yeah. with the toast, mm. right here, and yeah. and uh, correct the mic here, and then yeah. uh, studio. We weren't even thinking studio, yeah. you know, because yeah. we're using floppy disk. Exactly, yeah. floppy disk. Mm. You know, we yeah. weren't thinking studio. We just yeah. went with uh, if, if you can put it just here and put the cigarette here and, mm. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and, and I think one thing on, on I need to, to make here. <laughs> one thing I need to make here is when I started rapping in Swana, I'm sure I'm sure you could you could testify that the feeling of tapping into mm. to express yourself on that higher level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no doubt. It's no amazing, doubt. right? It's, 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 there's a there's a deeper access. I think, there's a deeper language. access. Yeah. I mean, I've done a TV show <clears throat> in, sure. in 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 Setswana, and um, within that, I read English scripts and translate them on the fly as sure. I am memorizing them. Yeah. So I I read the English, yeah. and then as I'm memorizing, I'm memorizing my That's translation one. in my mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then I do the the, the hook. Um, I mean, the link according yeah. to that, and. Yeah. That thing has made me go so much deeper in terms of expression, yeah. in terms of what I can say. Some of the things that I say in a link, I could never express them in English. Yeah. Sure. You know? so, so coming back to what I, I was pointing out to him, is that I didn't have a title over my style. Mm. I didn't say Kikwala this. Mm. Yeah. I think where history has recorded me and where we tie in, my first lines and the ones I wrote for DJ Sid's jingle was I flip it gum on top of your whole second Okay. This is 1996. And this is not me calling my style Motoako. Mm. It was just using the It's a Tsoana expression mm. of what I'm doing. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it was Kahatswak. And Later on, when I'm gonna I was say that line again, I feel like <clears throat> it's one. Hey, we'll flip it. Right as I'm in the house, <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 this is this is old school shit. So, 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 when I later started accessing studios, and I met a man called uh, Solo Solomon Mian, and Solomon had heard my work and he was just like, I need to work with you. I have this love song and I need it done in Zwana, mm. you know? And we did it, it was called Khalo, ne? And in the studio, he was just like, dude, this is fresh. And I know of another fresh nigga from across the border called Stone. Mm. So he sensitized me to the power of Stone's words, right? Yeah. And I was like, I'd love to hear that, right? And this is what you Khale, it was a legend. 96, 97, yeah. yeah. Around that time. Yeah. And radio and TV, of course, are there. Yeah. And I managed to access. I think every time I heard a Math Town artist, I was more proud. Of to being to you just believe no i was i was more proud of and i think it was an it, i was too young to understand it but now over time through book and understanding and wisdom you understand the power of the collective conscious mm. Hore, these are people across the border that are my brothers yeah we are accessing something at the same time yeah mm. and we are seeing it through and for me, that was a mind fuck of note. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. Because every time I would hear one of y'all, I was just like, what people okay. don't understand is that <laughs> it gets better. What people don't understand, it gets better, is that <clears throat> P and Stone uh, were doing this thing, and they had names bef- before it was even named Otaku, before it was even called Otaku. Yeah. 
be uh, before even Crowd Crew. Mm. But they were doing this thing and they had names in mind. Yes. They, these guys were. Yes. As artists. Yeah, right? we were, yeah, they were doing it. So, no, 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 no,